Are you looking for an investment property? And maybe you enjoy visiting Kelowna and you're starting to come more and more regularly. Well, this video is why purchasing an Airbnb property might be the best of both worlds for you. So stay tuned. So with prices going through the roof, inflation is really happening every day and things are getting more and more expensive, whether it's going to be your groceries at the grocery store or be at a nightly rental at at a home or even a hotel everything's getting more and more expensive and Kelowna is no different Kelowna is growing due to major natural wonders like the Okanagan Lake the mountains the lifestyles this really brings tourists to Kelowna every year well and especially the weather um so when you're looking at Kelowna as an investment option people also look at Kelowna for short-term rentals so stay tuned to the end so where I give you the top nine buildings in Kelowna to buy a short-term rental property so in Kelowna, it's just unfortunately not that simple of just finding a property or a condo and listing it on Airbnb or Verbo and just letting people come and go. There are a number of you know yellow tape, red tape around short-term rentals here in Kelowna. And that is the main thing. Uh, main thing is with such a low vacancy rate for long-term rentals, there's so much demand for the long-term rentals that city of Kelowna has put a res many restrictions on short-term rentals in Kelowna. Short-term rentals can be defined as either nightly rentals, weekly rentals. Really how the city of Kelowna looks at it is anything under 30 days. Oftentimes they'll have limited in the city bylaws for certain zoning that will allow short-term rentals, but there's also zonings that will not allow the short-term rentals. So it's really to get important that you know the rules and if you are looking for a short-term rental, because it can be a, definitely a good way to have the best of both worlds. Um, we'll visit the property, stay in it for a little while, but rent it out when you're not gonna be here. So we're gonna look at some of the tips and tricks, things to look at, and that's what I'm here for. So give me a call if you have questions on any of these buildings and very familiar with short-term rentals and the city bylaws that do allow it. So long-term rentals, um, the city of Kelowna really has the bylaws to make sure that there's adequate supply of the long-term rent rentals. Not going to get into, you know, exhausted list of the regulations for the short-term rentals as they're always changing and it's always good to do the due diligence when you're looking, but give me a call and we can discuss it and uh, look at the city of bylaws and help you find where that is. But generally speaking, rentals must be located in your principal residence. So if you're not going to be living in the property by yourself, currently be there for you know a number of days, then you're really limited to it. So you can't have short-term rentals in secondary suites or carriage houses. So that's just really not allowed. And that's something to look at for it. Also, if you are going to run Airbnb, you also have to have uh, and sign up for a business license. And uh, so the city of Kelowna will know that you're, you're running short-term rentals and otherwise you're going to be subject to a number of different fines uh, and they can oftentimes will find you based on the amount of nights that it's rented and how many times if you don't shut it down so something you need to be very uh, aware of what you're getting into and if it is a risk you want to take on if you do not make in in you know if you don't meet some of the criteria definitely a risk that you are looking to take on all right and as promised here are the nine buildings in Kelowna and West Kelowna that allow short-term rentals Coming in at number one, it's a brand new building, um, but it's the Brooklyn building. Number two is Playa del Sol. Number three is St. Paul on St. Paul. Number four is Seoul Downtown. Number five is Discovery Bay. Number six, Sunset Waterfront. Number seven is Brona Beach. A hidden jam right now is number eight, Copper Sky in West Kelowna on West Bank First Nations land. And number nine coming in is The Cove. So these are all the different types of buildings that allow the short-term rentals. Prices are gonna change. Prices are gonna depend on the location and the area that you're looking for. But please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you have any questions on short-term rentals, future city bylaws, that sort of thing, let's, give, let's have a chat, give me a call, and I'm happy to help you. That's what I'm here for. Take care.